Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as we are playing with Italy in the Emperor Expansion. Alright, so last episode we declared war on Naples, but we didn't actually conduct that war at all. I should have brought this army down here, but that's right, we are still building them up. But yeah, we could use another army here. Uh, is Corsica, Corsica still looking at rebellion from us? I'm not seeing a Corsica rebellion. We might not need these guys over here any longer. Yeah, it doesn't look like we do. So we do need to unmoth all these so that we can get our troops across. Might as well just wait a second here. Yeah, we'll bring this army across to kind of help us out. Uh, let's go ahead and bring these guys in. We'll take the war goal first so we start getting that ticking war, goal, war score. We'll take that. I will not split them up just yet. I don't know how much of an army they have. They might not have an army at all. Yeah, they have 3,000 soldiers. Well, then we will split them up. Uh, and hopefully the, they'll attack, attack us. I won't uh, carpet siege yet. We need to destroy that army first. Yeah, we'll take this. This is what we'll do. Let's take this real quick. And then we'll just uh, destroy that 3,000 man army and then just go carpet siege them. Uh, so we'll lose innovativeness if we take this option here. Or we can get unrest instead for five years. Or unrest and innovativeness, but lose prestige. Okay. I think we'll just take the unrest. It's fine. Alright, so again, let's finish this up here. Uh, we also have these guys here, which we can go ahead and split. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. We'll give them uh, maybe one large ship here. I don't know if these need to be upgraded at all. And then we'll just give them uh, a bunch of galleys. You know, to like 10 galleys here. And move them over this way. And then same thing. Let's go and get another like galley fleet here. I think I just gave them. Um... No, I didn't. I gave them our flagship. We did not get them coming over here. We do still have this side to blockade as well, but yeah, I think this is fine. We'll send the entire fleet over that way once we have these taken here. They're trying to get us around us here. Let's go ahead and attack them there, get those 3,000 men destroyed. They will not be able to get away. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys now cross. Although I really don't know that that's necessary. We'll at least cross it just to have them here. But yeah, with them not having any troops, uh, there's this fort here. I, I, this is what we'll do. Let's have these guys come over to the fort and detach. Uh, and then we'll send this main fleet over here. We will need to break off some of these ships, though. Just kind of leave them like uh, 10 ships or something like that. And 18 should be enough to destroy those four ships that they have there. And those four ships are... Yeah, they're all transport ships, so it's not much of a problem here. Alright, so these guys can now come over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and start carpet siege and I'll break them up. Uh, in fact, you know what? We don't even need this many men. I'll slowly kind of break off 1,000 infantry into each one of these two provinces here. Or each one of these three provinces, excuse me. And then we'll break these guys off as well, because we don't need that many. Uh, I don't know how big... The fort is, it's very, very tiny, so frankly don't need hardly anything here. All right, there we go. So that should be enough to, to do the siege. Let's go ahead and have these guys come over this way and then we'll kind of just slowly, again, kind of split them off, make sure we, we carpet siege. Oh, let's go ahead and send a couple over this way. They are starting to build some troops uh, that I'm seeing. So yeah, they are building some troops down here, I think. Uh, yeah, they're building a little bit of infantry there. So let's attack there first, not with both of those guys, just that guy. We've already sieged this down. Okay, that was quicker than I was expecting. They will send the fleet out so we can get those guys destroyed. Nice easy battle here, and we in fact did capture two of those transport ships, but again, we're just gonna get rid of those. Uh, I don't think we need them. So I'll just split them off. Just don't wanna pay for them and you know, have it go further over the, the force limit. Uh, it's just not necessary. All right, so uh, these guys are gonna come over here, make sure they can't build that unit. This ship is uh, a light ship, so it should be very easy for us to destroy. And again, this is going to be a very easy uh, war overall, as we would expect. They, they're just incredibly weak. Just kind of allows us to, to dominate them in this conflict. Let's go and send these guys back here. They're no longer needed to be here. Same with this guy here. God damn it. All you guys go back over there. And then let's come over here. Uh, this will be a little bit of battle, but we should be able to destroy them quite quickly. 
So I'm not even worried about sending that. Like that, we don't have, we don't have a leader here. We don't have very many troops. But again, I'm just not uh, concerned about it. We lost 111 dudes. It's not really uh, an issue. All right, so we should have all these taken, uh, and that'll give us that 100% war score. We should be able to do uh, whatever we want to them. Just force them to give us as many provinces as we can get without having to uh, having too many issues. Uh, we did sink that one light ship easy enough. Uh, without having too many issues for the aggressive expansion. Oh, I sent them to the wrong location. Alright, so I guess we can go and take a look and see what they'll give us now. Uh, we'll see if we can get anything good. Uh, I mean, I assume we'll get as many provinces as War Score allows. Uh, but I mean, the problem is going to be, of course, uh, if we're going to cause enough aggressive expansion to have uh, a large coalition. As of right now, we can get all this, and the aggressive expansion is not too shabby. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more. I'm just I want to see what they have in them. So you know what? Let's, let's go and take a look and see what we should prioritize. Obviously, we're gonna get these four provinces, but then where do we want to go down here? So if we could go, we could go with these two. I'm looking at the goods here: uh, wine, livestock. The development's low in all of these provinces. Uh, then we have more wine and some fish. So I suppose getting wine is helpful. What's in this one? More wine. Okay. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Make peace with these guys and again just kind of take as much as i can with the current aggressive expansion without getting the hungarians or the spanish in there so let's go and pull that province back and see if that yeah that works okay excellent uh so let's go ahead and see if we can't get any money and also uh, i guess war reparations is just a form of money as well so we're going to get that see if there's anything else that would be good for us could have them revoke some of their cores uh, so i guess that's helpful yeah, we'll do all that. And then we can also get some money. So they want to give us quite a bit. So we're going to send the demand in. And there we go. Very easy conflict. We lost 800 dudes. <laughs> so very easy. Very easy conflict. Uh, and we got a lot from it. Uh, let's go and take all these ships here. These galley ships. And uh, move them back. And we'll moth bomb. Uh, so very easy conflict. Able to get a lot of territory expanding further into southern Italy. Do need to core all this. And uh, of course we did it, you know, maximize what we could get considering the aggressive expansion. So that went pretty well. Uh, we do have that money to improve our advisor. Let's go ahead and do that. Get a little bit more military power. Uh, so we can try and get that idea group knocked out. So to merge these guys, uh, we could go ahead and continue drilling, which we will. Uh, we do have all these guys that are ready to merge as well. We'll go ahead and take a look and see if these guys are... I mean, are we still waiting on this damn rebellion to happen, or is it actually ticking down? Yeah, it looks like it's actually ticking down, so we're probably not going to have a rebellion here. Uh, so in that case, let's go ahead and move the, uh, the leader out and bring him in charge of this army here. And then we'll drill them as soon as they get all those troops there. We'll start their drilling. And so we'll draw all three of the armies here in Italy. Uh, and what we can do is go ahead and say that we don't want to pay for... Well, you know what? Let's let them get their, their manpower back up first before we, we take that down. And that should be here at the end of July. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So let's go to merge these. Let's go ahead and start the drilling of any troops here that have a leader. And then we'll stop paying for our army so that we are not paying for that army here. So that's the reason why it's not really saving us that much money so we'll stop paying for that army right there all right uh is our professionalism back up yet to 60 percent it is uh, so we do have the conscription army now all right excellent uh so is there anything else we need to do uh yes our fleet we need to go ahead and have we'll merge these guys we could turn this into two separate uh fleets really um for right now we'll just keep them one go ahead and moth bomb so we don't have to pay for them any longer same with these guys here go ahead and moth bombs i grab the troops Go ahead and mop all these transports. I'm gonna pay for those, and yeah, just uh, back to peace, I suppose. Uh, again, very, very quick conflict there. Uh, so, yeah, we're back in peace. Let's go to mothball all forts. Not looking at any rebellions that are likely to happen anytime soon, so don't need to be worried about that. 
I'm very interested to see, never mind, I was going to say, I was very interested to see what's going to happen in this war between the Hungarians and Ottomans, and that is what happened. Hungarians just gained a bunch of territory. So they are significantly more powerful. Uh, if we were to look at like the, the great power breakdown right now, we are still in third place uh, under France and Spain, who have considerably more development than us. Well, France, we're actually catching up to them. Look at that. Uh, now, the Spanish are very much in first place. Uh, but we're catching up to the French. Uh, we're only nine development behind them right now. Uh, the Ottomans are much lower development now. Uh, and then you got the British down here. And, and the Hungarians are really starting to rise here. The Portuguese have uh, eighth place. Interesting. All right. The Portuguese are a great power. Uh, I don't think they were a great power last time we looked at that. They were able to raid us. Huh. And they're hunting pirates. Apparently that's not enough. There's not enough pirate hunters. Let's see if we can get any more ships. Uh, yeah, we're still over the cap. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to get one more light ship just to have them go hunt pirates. And uh, after they get done, we'll, we'll assign them to, to help out hunting pirates because clearly we don't have enough ships out there doing that because they should not have been able to do it. Unless they did it somewhere that wasn't in that trade zone. I just wasn't paying attention. Our king has died. Oh, okay. Um, so... I, I want to say our, our current king is is better, right? Than the last one. I don't remember what the last one was. Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember his skills. We'll take a look at that because I'm actually curious. Uh, oops, not not the history. My bad, guys. We want to look at the uh, ledger. Go back to the front page and take a look at all of our previous rulers. We'll sort this by the date. And he was a four five zero. He ruled for quite a long time. Quite a long time, guys. Uh, 36 years. That's a considerable amount of time. He was a 450, so basically we're getting lower admin uh, by two. The same Diplo, but three extra military. So frankly, yeah, he's a better. He's better than his uh, his father was. All right, excellent. Uh, so I guess that's a good thing then. Uh, we did lose a little bit of stability from that, but that's okay. Uh, the military power is going to be the most helpful thing since we are trying to get that damn uh, military idea group finished up. Uh, so that's going to be helpful, and we will keep our national focus remained on that so that we can try and get it done faster. We're getting 13 military power per month right now. Let's go and accept the royal marriage offer. And, ooh, some st developments happening here in North Africa. I was wondering what happened. Yeah, these guys are uh, basically replaced Tunis here. There's they got a little bit of land still. They're having some serious issues. They're at war with Morocco as well. Huh, okay. Uh, so things are changing there. They'd be the next people we'd probably go to war with as we burn off the aggressive expansion in Europe. Uh, we'd next want to go ahead and expand out here some more. Manpower is almost at the cap. But aggressive expansion is really high. And we don't want a situation again where it's like the Muslims with a couple European countries uh, as it was before. So in this next war, we'll have to be more careful with the aggressive expansion. I don't really feel like fighting the Mamluks again. They are stupidly powerful. It was, it was fun, uh, the war was fun, but yeah, it was uh, it was also quite challenging. Uh, and we got very little for how much we lost, 111,000 dead. Uh, it's just what really wasn't worth it. Uh, we'll get that reinforced speed up. That'd be nice to have while at war. Finished up gaining those cores, so that's nice. Uh, we still can't convert anywhere, unfortunately. Uh, you still gotta wait for these modifiers to disappear. You know, I'm not sure when that will start. I want to say the early 1600s is when the first modifiers start uh, disappearing and we'll be able to continue our conversion because we do have three uh, missionaries right now just sitting around not doing anything. And yes, I forgot I was building this guy. My bad. Uh, let's go ahead and have them pirates. And, and now that could have happened somewhere else. I didn't pay attention to where it happened. So it could have happened in a different trade zone. And so maybe we didn't need that guy. I don't know. Uh, global trade. All right, so uh, this changes everything, and so we'll need to embrace that. Uh, where did it happen? I didn't. I didn't look at, uh, at where the location was. I suppose we'll take a look at that real quick. Uh, so let's go into technology here. Go into institutions. And did it happen in our territory somewhere? I don't think so. We're gonna look for global trade here and see where that was. York. Okay, so it was here in Britain. I mean, it will take some time to get over to us. Uh, once you embrace it, you get a OnePlus Merchant. And of course, you're, uh, until you do embrace it, you'll start having more expensive techs. 
Do we want to improve any of our advisors here? I suppose we can improve this guy. Uh, how much money are we making? Quite a bit. Uh, we could spend a little bit more money, I suppose. So we're going to improve him. Get a bit more admin points since our current ruler is not great in that field. Uh, we could also go ahead and get some more buildings constructed over here. So I think we're going to continue with the, the shipyard. Uh, let's see where we can get this. We can get one right there, so we will. doesn't look like we have a lot of places to build them in. We could build them over here, I suppose. Uh, get more shipyards there. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. So get shipyards there, and that should help with uh, you know our problem of being over the, the current uh, Navy cap right now. Again, though, it's not really costing us a ton because of the, the mothballed fleets. When they're mothballed, it's not that expensive. Uh, we did lose one of our... Generals, two of our generals, damn it. All right, so we're gonna have to spend the military power to get new ones so we can continue the uh, training. Uh, I guess we'll get this one. Uh, this negative two unrest for 10 years, good God. Or we could just lose the innovativeness. Yeah, I suppose we already have enough rebellion problems. We don't need those to happen anymore. We'll just lose one innovativeness, that's unfortunate. Uh, so what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something, I don't remember what it was. So yes, we have to hire new uh, leaders. Uh, because our current leaders all died. Uh, so let's go ahead and get two more. We'll get two more generals. And we'll see how good these guys are. Uh, these two that we just got here. So his one, he's pretty basic. Nothing really impressive. Uh, this guy here has six fire. Good God. He'd be really good later on. Uh, I don't know where the f fire modifiers are sitting. They're actually getting up there for the infantry. Yeah, we saw that before. Uh, and of course, it's going to help with the cannons quite a bit as well. So yeah, uh, fire is now the point where it's it's now getting pretty useful to have. All right, so let's see who needs a leader. I'm going to give him that general, or give that army that general, and then last one can go here. So going to continue training here, uh, just as far as where we're sitting at, we're at 80 average right there. These guys are actually capped. Uh, how are these ones looking here? All right, well we can drill those, so let's change this out then. Go no leader here. And bring a leader here and drill them. Uh, and these guys still got a lot of drilling left to do. Okay. Make sure we're not paying for our army. Yeah, we are not. Excellent. And more provinces converting to Protestant. Just more that we'll have to convert back as they lose those modifiers. Uh, we have encroachment of the nobility here. Uh, we say let it slide and we're going to get some autonomy there. And nobody gains land. Or we do this, where we might face a rebellion. I mean, we'll tick the autonomy down, I suppose, and it's just one province. And uh, I don't really feel like fighting an army here. I guess we could, though. It's, it's only 10,000. Uh, so, yeah, I suppose we will uh, go ahead and do this. And what we could do is also let them attack us. So we need to move our troops right there. Uh, well, there's no penalties. So they actually won't get any penalties there. So we'll just stop them from drilling, move them on over here, and then we'll do the, the event. Let this guy get his first uh, battle with this army here, uh, which again doesn't really have very high drill just yet. Uh, so we can get some stability or some prestige. Well, we're already at 95 prestige, so let's get that stability up. We, we have been losing stability from these events. All right, so we're not paying for them. That's the reason why that isn't ticking up. I was like, why are they not getting higher morale. Uh, so yeah, we don't want to do this until the morale gets up at least a month or two. And another month is going to be necessary. Alright, so let's go ahead and say demand that the land be returned and we actually didn't have a rebellion there. Okay. Uh, they are very disloyal to us though. Let's bring them back up here to the capital and continue the drilling. Okay. Oh yes, we also want to stop paying for the army. Again, it doesn't save us a lot of money, but it saves us a little bit. Culture unrest. Uh, so, just a lot of, uh, you wouldn't think we were sitting at 2 plus stability with all the damn negative events we get. Uh, the stability is really weird in EU4. Uh, I wish they would change it to the way Imperator to Rome changed it to, where stability like is a number that slowly ticks up. Uh, it's based on a lot of different factors, and it's not like this, this way it works here in uh, EU4. It's just odd. It's really odd. Like I don't understand what it's supposed to represent. Uh, it says it's how stable your realm is, but it's really not. It's just because you have like 
you'll be at negative three stability and everything will be going great in your realm or you'll be sitting at plus three stability and you'll be having like you know event after event of negative problems happening in your country so it's really not uh it just it just doesn't make any sense it's not really reflective of what's going on uh an event might take stability or, or tick it down or whatever but and then just the ability to be able to tick it up at any time using admin power also kind of takes away from whatever it's supposed to represent uh, just kind of an odd uh, thing. I, I do think they need to change that up. That's one thing they've had in E4, they had in E3, and they still haven't changed it yet, and it's terrible. Just absolutely terrible. This is only a penalty for five years. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll go with that one. But, yeah, lots of rebellion problems, guys. I do expect to see some rebellions here over the next year. Uh, some domestic rebellions. Separatist, and yeah, it seems like most of them are in fact separatists. We do have some zealots, uh, but yeah, most of them are separatists. Uh, want to leave our Italian unification and go back to having their own little state. So we've currently invested 30 points, right? Yeah, we currently have 40, in fact. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get something else instead. Don't need the prestige. Could, again, could always use more money. I mean, we're, we're in, we are using the money. Could go higher on the mercantilism. Let's just do the, uh... Yeah, you know what? We'll just do the mercantilism. Keep on increasing that. Keep on getting those bonuses. Do help us out quite a bit when it comes to trade. And just kind of watch along with these rebellions. And, and when one's going to fire, we'll, we'll deal with it. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Um, I, I think we built all of the, uh, the naval buildings we could build. I don't remember what those are called. Yeah, there's just nowhere to build them. The shipyards. I can't build any more of those at the moment. Could go and get more training fields, I suppose. Uh, I guess that'd be a good option. Just kind of look at where we're going to get some some good bonuses here. Now, when you look at here, you see much higher ones. That's because they don't even have the base building, uh, the the one that we're improving, uh, the the barracks. Uh, so that's the reason why. Right, as you can see down here, uh, they don't have the base building. So yeah, you're you're building two if you press that. So that's the reason why it's so high. I suppose we'll just go here with the 800s. Uh, we actually can build one here in Rome. That gives us even more. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do... Uh, that's it. That's all we can get. Now, I know our manpower is pretty high, uh, but so are our rivals. Uh, many of them have quite a bit of manpower. I was shocked with just how much manpower the Mamluks have. Uh, they're sitting at 71... No, that's how many troops they have. Their manpower is only at 16,000. Uh, they've been involved in wars for so long they just don't have any manpower but when we started that conflict they had like a hundred something thousand manpower uh so you know we ran out of manpower in that war around the same time they did uh, so definitely need to have more i feel but you get the trade in paper finally uh it's a cheaper admin cost it's about time man uh, it took us a long time to get to that it's excellent just taking a look at the trade situation since uh i haven't looked at this in a while god damn it so we're at 33% of the market share for glass. I don't think we're going to be losing that modifier. 27% for the wine, 19% for paper, so we just barely got it since it's already ticking down. Uh, nowhere close to getting anything else with the trade share. I mean, cloth, uh, yeah, we're just not even close to the Britisher. Uh, just, there's just too much cloth up here. Uh, as far as production leader goes, that we've been trying to seize uh, one for you know, the modifier for wine. It seems like we're getting further away from doing so. Uh, I don't know if we can sort this by any way. I don't know how that works. Nah, it doesn't look like that'll, that'll sort it. So yeah, you just have to go through and, and look to see if you're at all close to seizing any of these. You might be able to get green at this point, maybe. Uh, livestock we've been trying to get to. We're, we're getting closer there. I suppose livestock would be the one we'd want to, to work towards. I think that's the most realistic one. Iron's not, iron's not bad either. We might be able to get there too. And that's probably it. Okay, just seeing where we want to build certain buildings and continue to invest our uh, diplomatic power in since we have really seized control of the glass market now. And our coast is being raided. Okay, our coast is being raided over here. I see what's going on. Well, no, because they raided over here too. Huh. I'm a little surprised they're able to. Uh, clearly, we don't have enough troops hunting pirates, I guess. Yeah, apparently not, because they are raiding us here. Uh, we only have two ships right now hunting pirates. Uh, yeah, but clearly that's not enough. I'm a little surprised with that. 
Yeah, they're just uh, raiding us like crazy, aren't they? And and I don't really want... I don't want to have to build more light ships to do this, but... Yeah, we might have to. Uh, they keep raiding us. It's unfortunate. I don't know how many troops you gotta, you're gotta. you going to have to have. How many ships you're going to have to have. If two's not enough, I mean, we're going to have like three trade ships in every area. What we need to do is deal with these, these countries. Deal with Morocco. Attack them and, and destroy them. I suppose we can look at what... Uh, what a war with them would look like. Like, who all they're allied with. These two are allied, so we'd have to fight both of them. Uh, how many troops do they both have? we got 33,000 here, only 5,000 here. So we, we could potentially tank them. We would just have to, to send another army, more than likely. Since they do have that 33,000. We might be able to defeat them, though. Uh, it looks like they're actually two tanks behind us. So could potentially defeat them with just uh, the 25,000. That might be enough. Uh, with these two combined, though, you're looking at 38,000 total, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we did get a uh, new artist. He's Jewish, though, so we won't be able to tick him up any higher. He's cheaper to employ, though. Uh, we won't be employing him simply because uh, we got a level 3 advisor here. Uh, so, yeah, I suppose we could look into a conflict. Let me just take a look and see how much aggressive expansion we still have uh, with some of these countries. Now, not too bad here against the uh, French and the Hungarians. How about these guys? Because I don't want a war with with the Muslims again. It's a little bit high. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's still there, uh, still relevant. I say let's go and do another war with them, guys. Uh, we'll go and send this army over there now. Uh, we will have to unmothball these. And yeah, we'll go and send this army over there and we'll start getting ready for, for a conflict against them. I'll move these guys. Oh, I guess they can stay right there. I never did build a fort here. I wanted to, and I forgot. Let's go ahead and do that now while I'm thinking about it. We're going to get one fort located right here. Uh, as far as forts go, um, you know, we don't have any of the south protected right now. I don't think it's going to be really necessary. I, th I think we're okay. As long as we have some of these high development provinces protected, I'm okay with that. Uh, we could put one here, and this would cover a lot of provinces, though. So I guess there's that advantage. Uh, but again, I don't, I don't really think it's going to be necessary. I don't see the Spanish attacking us up from here. Uh, so I think we're probably good on, on fortifications there. We will build one here, though, so we at least have a fort that they have to siege uh, in North Africa. So we'll get that built. And then we're going to go ahead and send these guys over to here. So we'll get them going there. And then, yeah, we'll attack uh, Morocco. Let's see what we. We do not have a CB against them, though. How about these guys here? We do have a CB against them. Uh, and I'd be fine with attacking them with the exception that they have the Mamluks so yeah we don't want to do that we're gonna have to go after these provinces and attack Morocco instead all right I, I suppose that's what we'll do but we do not have the ability to do that with the CB yet so we have to build a spy network here so we'll go ahead and do that so we can get some claims going there and there's no reason not to move the troops now as we are doing and uh, we did get the seat of the strong aristocrat since our uh, our ruler has married and he already has an heir uh, the queen concert's pretty good too uh and the heir is not bad uh, actually pretty damn good uh not bad at all he's zero years old so he's, this is his son and yeah he's pretty damn good uh 13 overall so better than his father and most importantly that's very good military skill right there so yeah we'll take it uh we do need to find a name for him uh, we don't have a carlo could name him carlo there's some other names we have available here do Antonio. Call him Tony. Alright, uh, so these guys are almost over to here. Uh, we can't drill them because they don't have a leader. We'll have to give them one of these two leaders here, but I think these are both drilling, so I'm going to let them continue unless they're done. This one is done. Alright, so let's go ahead and say no leader here. We're probably going to want the best leaders in charge here, though. Uh, so that would be this guy. I don't know who's in charge here. Okay. So let's go ahead and appoint this guy here. And then we will need to replace him so that they can continue to drill. All right, awesome. Uh, so yeah, those guys are done drilling. They don't need to drill any further. I don't think we're paying for our military right now. No, we're not. Okay, excellent. So we'll go ahead and keep that going. And then, do these guys need any? We can drill them, I suppose. It's fine. And then we're gonna bring the ships back here to Rome and mothball them again. We will need to bring the fleet out. So we're gonna stop them from being mothballed. I know it's gonna get kinda expensive. Uh, I mean, it's only a couple more duck cuts, I suppose. 
And damn, they just keep on converting our provinces, man. Ugh, it's a problem. The Age of Reformation is ending in 93 months. Uh, and this is where I think the Age of Absolutism is where I think we should be able to dominate. We've done so terribly with the Splendor. Uh, we have converted a lot of provinces, so we are actually getting some Splendor now. Uh, that's probably just got that. Uh, but yeah, we've only gotten one of these. Uh, what I kind of wish we had gotten is... I think it's this one right here. Yeah. Or we could have done that State Edict. Resistance to Reformation plus 90%. And we wouldn't have this massive problem here that we have. And they, they just continue to convert my goddamn provinces, man. I don't know why they're focusing on me. Leave me alone, man. Uh, but I guess there's a lot of Reformation centers, huh? Yeah, quite a few of them. I think each religion gets two. Is that right? I see, uh... Maybe three. Yeah, yeah I think there's actually three. Okay, so yeah. They each have a, a three total Reformation centers. So, I mean, yeah, they, they spread it quite rapidly. Uh, it's funny, though, that the wars of religion in, in Germany are already done because uh, the situation looks a lot different than it did back when we had that war. I think, I don't know if the Catholics would have done as well uh, in that that conflict if, uh, if Germany looked the way it looks now. I think it just happened too early again, though. That is to represent the Thirty Years' War, which was in the 1600s. So I think that's more when it should fire. Uh, I think it didn't spread enough, uh, so you end up getting that, that happening too early and then the Catholics get to dominate the whole time, uh, and now Catholicism is the official faith. So yeah, I wish that had happened a little bit later, I think it would have been better. Uh, so we unlocked all those guys, so we're repairing those, so we do have to wait for that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we have to wait on, uh, besides the repair of those ships. I don't think so. Oh yes, uh, we don't have the Wurgle yet. Uh, so we're still trying to get that up, which we're currently at 5.4, uh, so that's what we're waiting on as of right now. Got a lot of unrest in some of these provinces, man. I think we will have some rebellions popping up soon in Italy. And so we're going to have to deal with those. Are we embargoing all of our rivals? Yeah, we are embargoing all three of them. Uh, we can go ahead and get this last one, which gets us that less uh, attrition, which is going to be super helpful here. And then also we get the attrition for the enemies. And I think that's in all provinces, not just in fortifications. So we've knocked that out. Uh, that allow us to get those new policies, too. I didn't even think about that fact. Uh, that does unlock the new policies. Remember, we do have the ability to get uh, some extra free ones, I want to say. Yeah, we can do two free Diplo ones. Or, excuse me, add-in ones. We still have one slot for Diplo. Uh, so let's take a look and see what we unlocked. Uh, so, get another merchant. Uh, I think that's the one right there, defensive. And this is the one. So these are the two new ones. So we don't have a Diplo one, so there's no reason not to get this. This is one plus merchant plus the plus 25% steering. That's pretty useful. Uh, now we also have the the military ones uh, that we could get and change them out for superior fortifications, which is fort maintenance, decreased cost, uh, increase of fort defense. Uh, I'd prefer to have the siege ability personally. Okay, and yeah, we still don't have another admin one yet to, to take advantage of that. Uh, but yeah, this is an extra merchant, uh, so we'll want to make sure we use him. Let me see where he is at. Okay, so he's right here. So we'll take a look and see where we might want to assign him. I know we already have a merchant here. We already have a merchant here as well, and one here. Bringing us trade down this way. I suppose the only real option, well, I guess we could bring, bring it here. Uh, we do have trade power here. There's just not a lot of value here. Uh, and it is leaving over here. I'm not sure which one would be a, a better option, honestly. I, I want to say that this one's not really worth much. Uh, like the total amount that it's worth is, is just not very much. Yeah, there's really not much here. There's nothing incoming, and the local's only 3.3. But here again, you're not really seeing a lot here either. Uh, it's actually less, there's less value here. Okay, uh, so it probably would be better uh, to have one here. Plus, we're transferring all of ours over here. Uh, so, yeah, I think it would probably be better to send them here. I'm looking for other locations, but I don't see any, guys. I think this is it. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, we'll just send them here. Let's go ahead and transfer our trade power uh, with our free guy here. We'll see how much impact that has. Probably not much. Uh, and it should be going up along this way. It looks like, yeah, we're not. Okay, there we go. We get 1.62 moving up towards Genoa. All right, so that helps a little bit, I think. Probably not earning us a ton of money, but it helps. It gives a little bit more value to, to Genoa. 
where we have 80% of the, the current trade power, so quite a bit. Uh, I did completely forget about agendas. We haven't done these. Uh, I suppose we could we could summit one and see what they say. Yeah, let's go ahead and summit one. Uh, yeah, let's do that now. And see if there's any good options here. So the clergy wants us to build a church, uh, and we can do that. Yeah, those are always good ones because they get that nice base tax. Uh, we can expand here. Uh, where is that? I don't actually know where that is. Is that over here somewhere? I think so. It gives us some admin power, and of course increases their loyalty, which I was planning on expanding over that way anyway. Uh, so it's, you know, some free admin power. I think the base tax is worth more though, because you use admin power to increase base tax, and, and I don't know how much it costs in, in that province. Uh, we could always take a look real quick, uh, but I assume that it would be more than 50 uh, if we've done any uh, improvements there so far. Uh, then yeah, it would be more than 50. It's 57, so it was actually worth more. Uh, I know that, that was the uh, dipper power, but that's the same. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it would cost us 57 admin power. So yeah, this one's actually worth more, plus you get the church out of it. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, there is this one as well, building a manufactory over here. Uh, I don't even know if that's somewhere we want to build a manufactory. I suppose we could. It would take a long time though. Uh, what does it give us? A uh, nice modifier, a local goods pr production modifier plus a base production. That's actually uh, pretty good. That is kind of expensive though, uh, since you do have to get the the factory, uh, the uh, manufactory there, and we'd also have to improve their development since they are all filled up here. Okay, so we'll just do the uh, the church here, and we'll do that now. Get the church going. It's not gonna earn us much money, which is the reason why I hadn't built one yet. Uh, but yeah, we'll take it for, for the base tax. All right, so we're about halfway there. Uh, or close to halfway there. Towards getting the, uh, being able to get the war goal. I probably didn't need to unmothball these guys yet. I didn't realize just how long this was gonna take us. Uh, but I'm not gonna, it's fine. They're fine as they are. All right, so uh, you can piss the clergy off or not piss them off. And it's either papal influence or prestige. Uh, let's take the prestige to get us back up to, to 100. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, we did lose papal influence, of course. But again, that's fine. Absolutely fine, guys. As far as our money, we're sitting at 36, which is not bad considering how much we're paying. Uh, you know, we're paying all of our troops right now. Uh, I think we're paying our troops. I believe we are. Maybe we're not. Yeah, we might not be actually paying for the troops. We are paying for all those ships, though. We can't get the next Diplo tech. It's kind of expensive, though, so we'll wait. Uh, it does get us a new ship, though. Uh, I don't know if all of our ship types have been fully updated. Uh, we might want to take a look at our ships and see if there's any uh, that aren't upgraded yet. Let me just take a look here. I think these guys all are. I believe everybody in this fleet... No, no, everybody's not. Uh, the two heavy ships aren't. So uh, let's go ahead and upgrade those. Those two heavy ships over to Galleons. That'd make them more powerful. I'm glad I noticed that. Uh, the trade ships. I wonder if all of our trade ships are. Uh, I think they, they probably are. We'll, we'll take a look real quick, make sure. Yeah, they all are. Oh, and we did have a rebellion. Okay, so that's right there. And again, we won't be able to deal with it in time. Uh, it's just, uh, just kind of the negative of the system. And then you just get that uh, penalty no matter what. So let's go ahead and move over this way. Let's see which way we want to attack from. I assume it's going to need to be from one of these southern provinces here uh, in order to not get the penalty. Yeah, we would have to attack from one of those two. So that's what we'll do. We'll come on over here. And does this guy have a leader? He does not have a leader. Uh, they don't have a leader either, though. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it, guys. Uh, we are at our max manpower anyways. But yeah, I just couldn't stop him. Uh, there's just no stopping it, guys. Uh, do we want to wait a little bit? Just take this down just a little bit. And try and get the uh, attack happening after we've got our morale back up. Probably not necessary, but they didn't take anything else, so it's fine. We are attacking in the mountains, so we are getting that penalty. So it took a bit more casualties than we would have, uh, but it's only 1,100 dudes, so not too shabby. We do need to take that province back. Uh, and just seeing if there's anything up here that I need to be aware of. Nah, we're good to go. All right, so uh, we're at 21.72, so I don't think we can do it yet. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look. It looks like we can fabricate the claim, actually. Spy network, uh, yeah, 
So let's go and do that. Uh, we'll keep building the spy network right there. And as far as getting a diplomat, uh, we'll just pull back one of our, our diplomats. Uh, I guess the one on the allies. And uh, well, now we just need to pay him for our military. And then we'll be, we already paying for him. Uh, so we were paying for our army and still earning that amount. Okay, not shabby, that's right. We started paying for him with the, uh, the rebellion that happened. Never mind. All right, so yeah, we'll go and attack over this way. Uh, are these guys still drilling? They are. Okay, so we'll keep them drilling. Uh, they don't have a leader. And these are gonna be the two armies that are gonna be attacking over this way. Uh, declaring war on them will result in war with these guys as well. They currently have a total of 40,000 troops when we have 50,000. Uh, their manpower is at 20 and 50,000, so they do have some manpower. As far as ships go, we are looking at a good sized navy, uh, about you know 50 something ships total there. And I didn't even look at their other ally. Let me see who their other ally is. Uh, they have ships as well. They're all the way down here though, so probably won't see them too much, but maybe they might bring their ships up here. I guess we'll see. So we're gonna wanna split this fleet up into two. Uh, so we'll have like one of the large ships kind of be like their flagship and then just kind of take all these, uh, take a bunch of galleys out here. Maybe get us down to like 30 ships in this army here and uh, 19 here, I think it's pretty good. And then we'll, uh, well, they need to finish repairing, but we'll go ahead and separate these so they're at least looking different. Actually, this is what we'll do. We'll send them this one here. Send them right there, I guess. So yeah, we'll be declaring war soon, although that's probably gonna be in the next episode, guys. Uh, I do have to end this one a little bit shorter today. And we did take control of that again, excellent. Uh, and what we wanna do is stop these guys from drilling now. Uh, they probably didn't need to drill any longer anyway. Uh, they do continue to get the professionalism though, so it's not like it's completely wasted. And we are sitting at 66% professionalism getting those bonuses right there, which are not bad at all. Uh, so yeah, we are ready for the conflict. All we need to do is get our morale back up here, uh, and then we'll be fully ready. We're also repairing the uh, the ships here uh, that we just uh, upgraded, uh, so that takes a little bit of time too. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all we're waiting on. So I think it'll take about three months to get the morale up, and then we'll declare war. Uh, we don't need to worry about winter or anything because it's North Africa here. Uh, so yeah, we will, uh, we did have another damn revolt. I guess it's a good thing we're paying for our military, huh? Uh, I guess yeah, we got revolts everywhere happening. Uh, we should probably just use this army because it would be less time to get them up here than it would be to send these guys and, and have to wait for them. It's only 12,000. Um, I think we can attack from anywhere down here in the south and not have to worry about river penalties, but we will take the hill penalty. Try and just get there as soon as we can and hopefully not let them take the province. I don't think we'll be able to stop it though. It just takes too long to get across our territory. Maybe though. Uh, first November, uh, yeah, we got there just in time, I think, to stop them from taking the province. So that worked out. Uh, there we go, excellent. Let's go move these guys back down here now. So we have an army in the south and have an army in the north. But yeah, we will continue to see rebellions all throughout Italy uh, because of our unrest issues. Uh, so you can just expect that. Could get the admin one as well. We are starting to reach the cap there. Uh, but we are actually going to end the episode here. We are ready to declare war on these guys on Morocco, and we're going to go ahead and do that now so that uh, you guys know that we're doing it. We are not going to pull these guys in as uh, belligerents because, of course, that does result in uh, the, the Mamluks coming in, and I do not have any interest in fighting their 95,000 men, even if they are completely out of manpower. Uh, so we will not. We're just going to attack these guys. So let's go ahead and declare war. Not call anybody in. We won't be able to call our allies in either. Uh, none of them are willing to join us. Is it, hmm. I think it's just because it's so distant. Yeah, that's the problem here. Uh, we don't need their help anyways. Uh -huh, we weren't planning to have it. So let's go ahead and declare war. And now we'll go and invade into their territory here. Uh, we also have to take care of these guys here. We'll take a look at where all the fortifications are. There's one there, so we'll just kind of move down here, taking all this territory with one army, while the other army moves down here. Now this will result in these guys being outnumbered against their army, so what we might want to do, since they have so few troops, is move uh, 5,000 out of this one over to this one here. I think that'd be the best way to do that. Uh, so just take a, a few of these guys out here, maybe like one of their cannons, and then uh, looks like they actually don't have as many cab units as they're supposed to. Okay, I didn't realize that. Uh, but anyways, we'll keep those three cab units in there, and then we'll just uh, kind of tick this down some. Maybe get one more cannon unit out of there. 
Like so. Yeah, it looks that was good. Uh, so we'll send these guys over here. And I'm gonna let this run for a second. Uh, we did complete that agenda, so we got that one plus base tax, so that's nice. Uh, and yes, we do have to send our ships out here as well. Uh, they're not quite ready yet, or that one isn't. Let's go and send these guys in here to help out, although we should be able to win that that battle without their assistance. We're going to send these guys in, we'll let them wait one more month to repair, and uh, let's go and send these guys after this fort right here. Let's go and merge these, and then go ahead and start pushing in. And that is where we're going to leave off on this episode with the war against Morocco and their allies. And the goal is, of course, to gain uh, at least this province here. Uh, we'll try and take a couple more, though, maybe, if we can if we can phase it with the aggressive expansion. We could also try and take their provinces here, but those would be more costly, so we're going to get less out of it and get more aggressive expansion since we did not pull them in as a belligerent. I think it just costs us too much of war score to go after their territory, so we'll likely just go through here and take this territory and weaken Morocco overall. Uh, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.